Hi, I'm Chris Carpanetti, this is Eiffel Science, and today we're going to be discussing whether the Garden of Eden was based on a real location. The Garden of Eden is the biblical place that's deeply ingrained in the mythology of Christianity and Judaism. It's clear that the Garden of Eden is steeped in symbolism, and there are many aspects of the story that are not possible to understand from a rational perspective, such as forbidden fruit and talking snakes. The location of Eden is said to be where people were first created, with the first two humans being Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve innocently roamed naked in this paradise until an encounter with a serpent and a piece of forbidden fruit landed them, and thereby all humanity, in deep trouble. This narrative is said to symbolise how humans fell from a position of childlike innocence and bliss towards a state defined by free will and knowledge, as well as evil and death. As for the garden's location, it's described as follows. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became four heads. The name of the first is Pishon, that is it which compasseth the whole land of Haliva, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. And the name of the second river is Gihon, the same is it that compasseth the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Tigris, that is it which goeth towards the east of Ashur, and the fourth river is the Euphrates. The key here is that it's located where four rivers meet. We know of two of them today, the Tigris and the Euphrates. Both of them start in Turkey before going down through Syria and Iraq before emptying in the Persian Gulf. It is unclear what the names Pishon and Gihon are referring to. Over the centuries, some theologians have speculated that they might refer to the Ganges in India and the Nile of Egypt. Nevertheless, based on the mention of the Tigris and Euphrates, we can assume that the Garden of Eden drew some inspiration from an area in Iraq and Iran where these two rivers meet near the Persian Gulf. If we are to believe that the Garden of Eden symbolises the origins of humans, then we undoubtedly have to turn our heads to Africa. The so-called Cradle of Humankind can be found in South Africa. This site is home to the largest concentration of human ancestral remains in the world. Among the thousands of fossils found here, researchers have unearthed the remains of Australopithecus, an early ape-like human species dated to around 3.4 to 3.7 million years old. It wasn't until 200,000 to 300,000 years ago that the modern Homo sapiens evolved. Once again, Africa was the location of this development, with modern humans most likely first emerging somewhere around modern-day Ethiopia. So, if we're looking for a scientific Garden of Eden, then it looks like South Africa and Ethiopia are our best bet. 